Hey guys, this is a BR2 um, Gretchen Taylor Hewlett. Hewlett. Um, she did. She has a tea and talk series that she does, and um, she showed her tea cups. So I thought I would show mine. Some of mine are mugs. Well, most of mine are more mug like. Um, but uh, this is what I have and I'm constantly buying more so I'm sure that I have more that I didn't dig out I've gotten rid of a lot of them because my husband doesn't like all these cups um, but I'm going to show you my favorite one I mean I know this is a little more mug like but I just I love this one kind of that blue chintz like look the flowers um, as you can see, it's tea stain because I will, I work a lot of tea. I, I drink a lot of tea. Yes. So I love that one as my favorite. Um, and of course, the cat has to get in on the act. You knock one off of there, mister, and I'm going to kick your butt. Um, and this one is another one of my favorites. The little kitty on there butterfly and it just repeats itself on the other side and it actually came came <laughs> it actually came with a um, teaspoon attached to it but I took it off I have it laying around here somewhere oh well, yes yes I do will you stare at my cups or my cat I'm not sure what this is the, um, the spoon that came with it and um, don't mind my messy table I just, I need to clean it up. Um, this one was given to me by my friend as a birthday gift. Um, this is actually part of a set. There's this. This one says, see this? Um, and then the little pitcher, creamer pitcher that goes with it. And then the um, little sugar container, which is kind of dirty, but needs washed. And I, I think I can't remember. There might have been a, there might be a saucer that goes with it, but I didn't dig it out. If there was, I'm not 100% sure. But um, those there. Um, let's see. This one is one that my mom bought me. I used to collect angel mugs and I think that this in, is the last one that I have left. All the others somehow seem to have gotten broken. Again, it's tea stain down in there. You can see. Um, the ones I've showed you. This one's just a clear glass with roses on it. Um, I had two of these, but I don't know why, but one of them must have been defective or something because when I put some hot tea in it, it just, it kind of, the water shattered it. I don't know what the deal was. So I only drink cold tea in these ones now. Um, this one is part of a set. There is an actual... There is actually a little teapot that it sets on top, or sets on top of it. Um, well, I will have to show you my teapot collection sometime too. Yeah. Um, let's see. This one was a birthday gift from a brand. Yeah, most of them you're gonna find are tea stained in the bottom because, like I said, I drink lots. This one was one that I bought at um, the Dollar Tree, and I actually have, believe it or not, matching um, salt and pepper shakers that, that I did not buy at the same time. I think I bought them like several years apart, but, but it matches the... I have two special ones that I don't want to show you yet. This one, I just, I bought it at the Goodwill. I, I just liked it because it was cute and the size. Um, 
There's not a lot of them are that special to me. There are a couple. This one I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. Of course, I couldn't pass it up because it was fall, and I love fall. That's my favorite time of the year, so I had to buy it. Um, this one was a barrel. It come from, it's actually more mug than my husband used to work at a pottery so this one was one that he brought home from the pottery I thought it was cool that it's shaped like a barrel um, this is one that my great aunt gave me because she knew that I liked tea and, and collected mugs so she gave me that one I think it's just a Walmart uh, used to carry these ones but Anyway, it's a thought that counts. Um, this one is my most recent one. Um, ow, ow, my finger stuck in the, uh, ooh, ooh, is uh, my most recent purchase, and it cost me 99 cents at Goodwill. And, and uh, just simple little mug. But I love shaped mugs, and of course, the bingo pumpkin and associated with ball ad by it. This one, I do use it as a, a teacup. I will pour tea in there and drink out of it, though. It, um, it's more like the soup-type mug. My grandmother bought it for me for Christmas one year. So, I have that. This one, well, you can't see. This one, um, my husband gave me for Christmas. It was one that is handmade by a local artist. I was thrilled to have that one. I love handmade mugs. I love anything handmade, and that it was local is um, a plus. Um, then I have two that are actually teacups. This one is, um, it says Royal Grafton Fine Bone China, made in England, and it is numbered. Um, so I, I don't very often use it. I don't think I've ever used it, to be honest. I, it's more decoration, and it, it does come with plate um, again has the same thing on the bottom well plate saucer um it was given to me by a friend as was this pretty one here I haven't drank out of this one because well I don't know the, the cup doesn't say it um it says tell it tell a floor gift on the on the thing um and it has a matching saucer which is pretty. I don't know if you can see there's a the glare on it. Pretty. But on the back of this one it says not for food use. Food consumed from this vessel may be harmful for decorative purposes only. Um, so I haven't used it again it's more decorative purpose because I'm afraid to drink out of it with the what the plate says. And then I know I have one more but I think my children have children, what well, one's an adult. I think one of my sons has used it. Um, this one, I know you can't, I'm trying try to see if you can see it real well, um, is one that I have had since I was, gosh, I must have been maybe three or four, and I will soon be 43 at the end of the month. So this one is, is just a funky little monster. Um, I think he's signed by the artist name but on the back it says grog look at that I've had this for probably since the um, late 70s when I lived at my grandparents house um, and then this one here yeah, she's kind of been stored in the cupboard for a while so she's kind of dirty and Raggedy Ann you know um, back in the day when Raggedy Ann and Andy were popular. I, I was a young child in the, the late 70s, early 80s. Um, I went through a Raggedy Ann Holly Hobby phase and so I had to have this mug and um, my grandmother, which is actually these two right here, my grandmother gave them to me when I got married and you know got a place of my own. The first year that I was married, my husband and I lived and then my oldest son lived with um, my grandparents so 
when we finally moved into our place of our own. My grandmother knew how much that I loved these two mugs and she gave them to me. My grandmother is still alive. My grandfather, unfortunately, is not. Um, but anyway, there you have my teacup collection. I uh, still have a couple of VRs to do regarding tea. I have a teapot collection and then my actual tea collection. So I will see you all later and thanks for watching. Bye.